Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to Das Customs. I'm Das and I know roughly what I'm doing. Anyway. So where we got to last time was <clears throat> we mocked up the dimensions of the tray, um, which I was pretty happy with. Um, and you know, a lot of people commented that they were pretty happy with it too. One of the things that I did get a couple of comments on, and I had noticed this myself, was the there seems to be more opening at the back of the wheel than the front. Uh, and the tray is, you know, I mean, it's not a bad proportion. I don't mind it, but it is a little long. So how are we going to rectify that? Um, first of all, look, let's just have a bit of a look at um, how much clearance I've got. And then we can see, you know, what we're thinking of doing. All right, so this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to have the engine in the body, uh, just to make sure I had all these clearances sorted now if i measure from let's just uncover this beast when the reality is i need to be from the inside of that so if i go from inside of the rear panels to you know, the furthest pulley which i guess both pulleys will be the same but we'll go to that one I've got 180 mil, um, 180 mil is uh, seven inches in the old tongue. So it means I've got plenty of room to bring it forward. Now I'll show you what I've mocked up over this side and we can just see how far I want to bring it forward. Now I'll try and put you there so we can see more what we're talking about. So I've marked center of the wheel and you can see that there's, you know, reasonably more amount of gap at the back than there is at the front so what i did was i cut out you know that shape and we're just going to look at where it wants to be which is somewhere somewhere like that so you know if i just for a rough a rough idea if i went like that mark him and then Brought it to where I want it to be, which is probably about there. I mean, that's how much I need to take out of it. Now, that's four inches. So, the biggest issue I've got, there's, there's fold lines in this. Like, there's a, not only the top line, but there's the bottom line. But I do have a nice straight area across here where I could potentially cut four inches out of and just bring them back together out of all of that. Um, the other issue would be, let's just have a look at this. The top of this, what is gonna be the tray, tapers. So if I take four inches out of any given point, there's going to be an overlap when it gets to when it shrinks up. So I've got to I've got to deal with that as well, uh, which is, you know, it could be tricky. It would mean I'd have to pie cut this whole thing out here and bring that in. One of the other options I had thought of is uh, actually straightening this up, bringing it back to here and doing like a, you know, that kind of setup, which I haven't not necessarily ruled out yet look in the meantime what i'm going to do is i'm just going to work for a minute on fabricating up a support for this tray that way we kind of you know things are not just balancing on bits of wood on the ground so i'll do that for a bit and i'll um i'll get back to you guys so that's phase one of the tray support so basically i always knew this was going to be part of the chassis um, when I left those, like I brought 
those arms up to support this. Uh, so they are, you know, square, equal, level, and I've made them about 100 mil shorter, so that way, you know, I, when I bring that in, I'm not 100% sure how long these need to be yet, because there's actually going to be, the tub will be removable. So it'll get its own inner support. Um, you know, obviously where that is there, there'll be a big gusset that comes up the side there to support this thing. You know, and it clears everything nicely. Let's just pull the cover off and have a quick look. And so you can see it clears everything really well. Uh, it'll give me something to mount the inner guard to as well um, for the, well, I guess that will be, ooh, I've got to decide where that's going to mount to actually. But look, that's phase one. So now what I'm going to try and do is build a, a lower frame that encases, you know, to support, to build the sides off. And I'm going to build that out of um, square stock, like a 25 mil RHS. Um, and that'll just form the bed of the tray. And then I can build off it to get my uprights and see where that all needs to go. At this stage, that just needs to be a big, you know, rectangle, um, <clears throat> I think, I hope. Let's get moving. So that's the basic shape of the tray. Um, kind of can't really see it on camera, but it's 150 mil bigger at the front than it is at the back. And I've decided to do that um, basically just to trace what's in there. Now, I've figured out all I need to do is make two of those and then I'll separate them with you know little bits and that's the basis of my tray and I marked it on the floor like this so I can I've got a pattern basically I've got a template and I can I'm going to uh, mitre the corners just to make it look that little bit neater um, you know if anyone ever sees it if anyone ever sees this thing it has been a long project guys but I'm really I mean, through encouragement through you got from you guys and just through sheer will of my own, I'm gonna see this thing through. It's coming together now. There's all the bits cut up. Um, unfortunately, hmm, that's all the stock I've got. I really need a couple across the middle. Uh, what am I gonna do about that? I did have that piece back there that I was using. God, you never get enough of this stuff, I'm telling you. No matter how much of it you buy, you've never got enough. All right, so that's the frames welded up. I had to do a little bit of recycling, but you know, that's the good thing about steel is you can reuse it. So I've left, this is where the engine sits in here. I kind of realized later that that is probably gonna be an issue, but we'll deal with that, I guess, as we need to, because um, that's, you know, where the tailgate is. I didn't weld it in the top one. You know, because, um, so, I mean, this is all, you kind of, what they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. like it's kind of, as you're building, as you go, you just got to kind of, you got to do something. Right, so, looking in here again, this is the engine. And... It, it does, it kind of rocks forward a bit. The gearbox, it's tilted slightly down a bit right now and it will kind of lean back a bit, but you know, let's just not worry about that too much. What we want to do is we want to build this thing and it wants to have some kind of clearance. Minimal clearance, but some clearance. I mean, there will be probably a hatch. I, I really haven't decided how all this is going to work. The original plan was for the whole tray to tilt and if I can manage to figure that out that is going to be the best option um, you know that way but right now I'm just allowing that there may be a hatch there so I need some clearance so if I put that level there and I have measured everything on the ground it actually is fairly level in here so my, my previous worries about things not being level are, you know. So just trying to get the bubble roughly. Okay, so look, that's this side's up, that side's down. Let's go off the high side and let's allow the thickness of the level. So I want 120 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually weld some legs on, on that. 120 mil. 
uh, and they will be basically to uh, basically to uh, to hold it up. And the, you know, at this stage, I'll make them. I'm just going to put some little tags on it so they they weld down. Uh, you know, on or not weld, but screw down or bolt down onto the uh, those chassis rails I put in there. But that may change. This is just so I can build the tray, and so it's not you know supported on. Well, see, not even supported anymore on bits of wood and whatnot. All right, I'll chop these legs, make some little tags that come out, drill some holes in them. I'll be back. And there we go, there's my little legs. Ooh, that looks wrong. Have I gone the wrong side of the line on that one? Uh-oh, I think I did. Let's check it. All right, let's see if this thing fits in. Moment of truth. How am I going to wiggle it in there? So, well, for starters, I got it around backwards. The front would be the wire side. That would be lovely. Yeah. Ooh. This light. So I'm thinking somehow. Well, it fits, is the good news. The bad news is... Oh, well, it's no bad news yet, really. It's just that I'm not gonna have much of a tray. I mean, I could step it down over the motor. I mean, at the end of the day, Probably doesn't really matter that much. What I've got to try and figure out now is actually how much of a tray I've got. You know, it's kind of... That, basically. Is that, that's how much I've got, that. So if that come back into there, like how I originally had you, Probably take some measurements off that and see. And then this side's still marked up. Hundred and ten there. Yeah, 110, 110 at the back, and at the front, 125 at the front. Yeah, I mean, she's not much of a tray. But it doesn't have to be much of a tray, really. It's only, uh, you can still put stuff in there. Like I said, if I if I decide to later, I can rejig this front section down, you know. But right now, it's just going to be like that. I'm going to cut some little legs, so it's 100, 110, and 125. I'll cut some legs, and we'll see how we go. 
All right, so that's my basic frame built. And it's all, you know, very solid. Like it's, you know, this is a solid, solid unit. And, ba and you know, basically what I'm trying to do is fit the guards and make them work, but without having something solid to mount it to, it was kind of getting difficult. So uh, now what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, remove that. That's it for welding for a minute. And the idea was that this will just, you know, come into that line there, which it's pretty good. And I'm just going to use some screws, which I got these. Um, that's also what I use to mount the, uh, the feet at the moment. You can see them there. And I'm just going to screw it together. And then, then we can deal with the shortening of it. What I might do is I might just only screw the front. That way I'm not making extra holes. You know, this could be the permanent thing. It could be. All right, I'll just screw that on and we'll start re-looking again at the, the length of the unit. Right, oh well, Jeff's come down for a visit and uh, we've, cut, we've, we've moved forward. We've actually come up with some stuff. So we've got both sides mounted, missed a couple of steps. And we made up a temporary rear, basically just to hold it in sitch. And it kind of gives us something to work on then. Obviously, this isn't going to be the finished product. But we've got both sides tacked on. And we've realized that, uh, you know, after many different options, that the best way to bring it forward, I mean, I needed to chop some off the front here anyway to make it line up, is to... If I cut uh, two inches out the front, it brings the back forward two inches and the front forward two inches, therefore centering me up. So if that makes any sense, I'm gonna start cutting. I'm gonna cut that, pull that forward, and then try and see if we can shape this thing into being, you know, what it wants to be. Here we go. So you can see my original center mark there has now been brought a lot more forward and the wheel is a lot more you know, centralized in the guard, in that arch, which I'm pretty happy with. And it's shrunk up the tray just that little bit, which I thought was kind of what I wanted to do. It's, you know, not quite the four inches, but we've gone two. Um, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a little, uh, I'm going to make a stay that comes down inside there and brace it back off here, down in there to, yeah, to hold that in. And once I've got that in where I want it, it means I can go to the other side and, and start playing with it. All right, let's have a look at it. Well, this is starting to come together now. So I've put a little, a down strut there to hold the side in. Not sure exactly what the detail down there will be, but at least it's there, it'll be a solid, and I'll put a, like a, a brace in there to hold it together. So this tray is really starting to come together now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna uh, just lift that back up, screw that in place, and we can kind of try and see how we're gonna fix that bottom bit. Right, oh, well here it is. Put a good half a day into it. And it's actually for the first time bolted together like in a structural kind of way. Obviously there's still a lot more to do on it. The, uh, is that the bit? This bit here, the bit I cut off the back side here. I'm actually gonna, uh, tack it back on from the inside to give it that you know rounded over edge and there's other ideas there's other stuff coming to me as it as it goes um, but the the basic idea of it is there now and it's you know it's structural like this is you know mounted in the back here i've put those stays down so the the rear guards are mounted and miraculously this side here which was my problem side has sorted itself out more or less it's a little gappier there, um, but I think, I think it's good enough. 
and I've got clearance on that wheel now, which I didn't have before. So just getting it all together and, you know, kind of balancing it out, giving a bit here and taking a bit there has made this thing, you know, into, into something good. So still plenty of access here for the, for the engine, a little tray, you know, obviously I'm not going to be doing, uh, getting loads of bricks or, or gravel in this ute. It's more just a, just a look. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I uh, really appreciate you guys sticking with me and uh, seeing this project through. I'm going to be going away for a few weeks, so this will probably be the last video I get up before uh, New Year's, but um, I'll catch you later.